Hey everyone, it's Liberty Stacking. Today we're gonna to be showing y'all how to make hardtack. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Liberty Stacking. This is the first week of the SHTF Survival Series. Uh, we started off with Pirate Stacker, then we went to Silver Scorpion, then the Patriotic Stacker, and now you're at me, and then ne up next is gonna be Triple P. So, this week, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make hardtack. So, hardtack was used all the way back before the Civil War as a way to uh, store uh, uh, to store food without it going bad and be a very very hardy and uh, very very hardy and uh, easily preservable food stuff for people. And it's really, really simple to make. It's flour, water, and salt. Um, it preserves really well for a very, very long time. It's easily preservable. I mean, all you do is once you bake it, you just seal it up in Mylar bags with some oxygen absorbers, and it will hold for a very, very long time. Uh most people say five to ten years, but it's actually been proven to go longer. Uh, so there's two different ways. There's a very modern way, which is where you bake it for 300 and you bake it at 375 degrees for 30 minutes each side. Or you can do the traditional way of baking at 250 degrees for two hours each side. I'm going to show y'all how to make them and I'm gonna make both sets and we'll look at them at the end but I'm only gonna show you the modern way to do it uh, because the only difference is the temperature which you bake it and for how long so um, let's get in the kitchen and get going all right so we're gonna start off by preheating our oven to 375 All right, as I said earlier, the three things we needed was all-purpose flour, iodized salt, and water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all of those in a bowl. We'll add our four cups of flour, our tablespoon of salt, add a little bit of water, and we're going to start stirring. Now what we're looking for is a doughy consistency that is just not incredibly sticky. Like if it's fluffy, like if it's just powder like that, you need to add water. If it's just regard like just insanely sticky, add more flour. So the power just flickered. We actually have a it's raining really bad outside right now. This needs a little more flour. I 
right, so as you can see, it's still pretty sticky. So we'll go with a little bit more flour. You're just going to keep doing this till you get the desired consistency. All right. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead uh, and get it ready to roll out. So we're ready to roll this out. So what we need to do is to prevent the dough from sticking. We need to powder the counter a little bit. Baby, I promise I'm going to clean this up. I'm doing this right now while Mrs. Liberty is sleeping, so she ain't seeing the mess. All right, I'm going to take our dough, put it out there, and we are going to roll this down. So now that we have the dough rolled out into the proper thickness, we're going to go ahead and cut it. And you want to cut it no bigger than three inches by three inches. All right, so now that everything's cut up, we're going to go ahead and place them on a nonstick baking pan. Do not use grease, lard, anything on this pan. 
non-stick only. Do not put Pam cooking spray, anything like that. And what we're gonna do before we lay them on there is we're gonna go through and we're gonna poke holes. Now, one of the things this is gonna do is this is gonna help with letting the moisture out. You want to poke holes on both sides. All the hardtack has had all the little holes punched in it on both sides. It's on the non-stick baking sheet and it's time to go in the oven. So let's get it in there. All right, so the oven's up to temperature. We're gonna bake each, one, each side for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, we're gonna pull it out, flip it over and go for another 30. We'll be back when it's time to flip them. All right, so after 30 minutes of baking, the first side's done. We're gonna pull these out, flip them, and then bake for another 30 minutes. All right, so everything has been flipped. You're gonna have to use a spatula to kind of get some of them up, because some of them will stick. All right, and there we go. All right, so now that they're done, let's get them out and get them on the racks to cool. All right, so both batches are done. This is the batch I showed y'all that we baked 375 for 30 minutes on each side. With this batch, we use the same recipe I just used the more traditional method of baking it where I baked it at 250 for two hours for each side. And with the one exception on this one, when I poked the holes, I used a, uh, a chopstick instead of uh, a fork to make bigger holes to let the moisture out a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, package these in some Mylar and seal them up and get them stored in my bucket. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. S go ahead and head over to Triple P for the last on uh, this week's series of SHTF Survival Series. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. So this is Liberty Stacking signing off. Remember, stay safe and keep stacking.